in this view we have on the left the plan view of the family and on this view we have the elevation view already with reference planes. I'm going to start creating the necessary solids to compose this lamp from the bottom going up. So the first object we need is this base which I'm going to do with an extrusion. Home extrusion then I'm going to use this polygon with six sides and I'm placing my center point here and I'm going to provide a distance of four inches from the center. I'm not going to worry about the height, I'm just going to click finish edit mode and from the elevation view I can take the top surface of this extrusion and just make it stop right here at this reference plane and I'm going to use the lock feature. The second part, this part on the photograph, can be created with a blend from the plan view I click on home blend first I define the shape of the base of the blend which is the same shape of the first object that means that we can use the pick lines tool to use the same hexagon that we have on the bottom so this is the base shape for the blend. Now I click on edit top which is going to be another polygon at the same center with one inch between the center and the edge. I have the two shapes. The default height is going to be one foot. I click on finish edit mode. This is the new blend object and now I can drag these shape handles to adjust and lock the height of the object to reference planes. If we want to do this part that we have right here in between these two blends, that could be just an extrusion. I'm going to do that from here, home extrusion and I'm going to use pick lines selecting the small hexagon as my reference. I'm going to click on finish edit mode and that creates a one foot uh, hexagon like this. On this view on the elevation I create a new reference plane home reference plane something like this and then we can use either the shape handles or the align command to align to this plane this face lock and to this plane here I use the tab key to find the bottom of that piece and lock. This next piece is another blend with a small hexagon at the bottom and a big hexagon on the top. I do that from the plan view like this home blend pick lines and then I use the lines of the hexagon again. This would be the base click on edit top and then I use a bigger hexagon for the top something like let's say 5 and click finish this is our new blend we can use the shape handles to refer to the reference planes and lock like this and lock again Following similar steps out of the recording, I added this extrusion, this blend, and this other little extrusion on the top.